my name is Jean Daniel Lafontaine. Um, I'm um, born and raised in Haiti. And uh, my profession, I'm a marketing specialist um, who has converted uh, in becoming much more a cultural entrepreneur. And my long life uh, as a servitor, someone that serves the spirits, the loi of Haiti, the people, and uh, the culture of Haiti, which is Vodou, is currently my primary occupation. So quite often uh, I work um, all over the world as an art consultant specializing in Vodou. Aside from that, I manage uh, the temple uh, in which we are, which is Temple Narive, Temple Narive, which is actually a peristyl, very often called a peristyl, which is actually a jevo, which means the house of the spirits, the house of the loi. Um, I have a long-standing relationship with Forever Rarafam because as a commonly called Vodou priest, it's one also of my mission is to carry the tradition and the religion and the music of the temple in the streets, which is basically the essence of the Rara. The particularity of Forever Rara Farm is that it's not a traditional Rara Ben. And uh, because I am not a traditional Vodou priest, I have a very big interest in that, in that, that women would have the lead roles in what men uh, did traditionally. Because as in Vodou, there is no discrimination. A Vodou priestess, a Mambo, is as powerful as a Vodou priest, a Wunga, and vice versa. They have the same responsibility. There is no gender. Uh, 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 difference uh, uh, in Vodou. And because of that, I, I uh, partnered, if you want, with that Rara that existed before and uh, to try to promote them and, uh, and put them um, on, the, on the Rara scene, both locally and inter internationally. Um, I have a long standing relationship with Belair because where the temple is, where Narive is, it used to be the Greater Bel Air. Now Bel Air is confined in a tiny portion of the city, but for me, where I live in Avenue Poupleur, it's also Bel Air, the Greater Bel Air. So I have a very particular relationship with Bel Air because as a kid, I used to constantly be in the surrounding of Bel Air, visiting the Vodou temples, uh, dancing to the music of the Rara. So it's ingrained in me. And uh, because these girls, you know, I met them many years ago, maybe four or five years ago, basically when they started, almost maybe a year after they started, I love their energy. And, 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 and I think that helping youth develop into traditional music uh, was, was a great asset for them, particularly living in a neighborhood uh, that is quite challenging from a regular economical standpoint. Because living in the ghetto, living in, in the, the Bel Air as it is today, is quite a challenge. So this is primarily the reason why I support them and that I, become, uh, that I became, if you want, their, 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 their godfather or their spiritual uh, 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 father, the spiritual father of, of the Rara. I mean, evidently, over time, I developed personal relationship with uh, the Rara members, uh, the founder, Timor, and uh, the maestro, Jennifer, and many of the others, which consider me a uh, kind of a father figure. Uh, but uh, initially, it was their music and their energy that drawn me to them. Uh, so basically, this is, uh, this is why I'm with them, and this is also why I am in that particular project. So th the film, that, uh, that is being made, in my opinion, will be not only a legacy to the Rara farm in general, but a legacy also to the Haitian culture and to the Haitian youth, which for me is not only the hope, but is Haiti, because the, the population is very young. And that energy that is constant, that resilience that is constant, is also in many ways the resilience and the energy of the youth. That project is also challenging. It's firstly challenging from a financial standpoint because maintaining the repetition of the Rara, it entices money. 
and I mean, evidently, you know, as much as I can, I help. You know, I make sure that they are fed properly, that, uh, you know, they are taken care of, that their transport is paid for, but it, it's a challenge to sustain that time and time over again. Um, so, but it's, it's something that has to be done. It has to be done for the culture. It has to be done for the youth. And I think that by getting into that project, it allows me also to bring many people um, that are not only friends of mine, but people that I have collaborated with in the past that can also highlight not only the best in them, but be part of the project. Uh, for instance, um, Joanne, uh, which uh, I brought in, you know, as a dancer from Bookman Experience, a very, very experienced and charismatic dancer, will be helping not only with the dancing, the choreography, and she will probably be helping with the jewelry making because she's also a jewelry maker. Uh, Zikiki, that, uh, uh, that uh, you, Alberto, is bringing, is going to be a very great influence because of his uh, musical and talent skills. And many of the other people that we brought in, including Elizabeth McAllister, for instance, who is the epitome on uh, the Rara music and the Rara tradition in Haiti, and who's one of, of the better known and the, 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 the most uh, vocal, uh, if you want, um, academic, on the subject of Rara itself, uh, are people that I'm bringing in to not only highlight the project, but also to bring light on, on these youth, which are uh, really uh, the essence of what Haiti is. And, uh, and these girls, I have to tell you, uh, they, they, uh, they, I'm not only fascinated by, by their energy and their talent, but also their condition of living being what it is, because they live, some of them, in extreme poverty, I, as you may have seen. It, it's time for them not only to get some recognition, but to get also some financial advantages that may allow them uh, to, to have a minimum uh, in the future. So developing other skills, uh, helping them to, to be um, more, to better perform is also part of the challenge and it's also one of the reasons why I'm also part of that project, of that challenging uh, but so interesting project.